In the name of God, of his Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, about half an hour ago, I received the very sad news of the passing of a parishioner of ours and a friend by the name of Avril Sampson Jeffries. She is also the sister of Father Courtney Sampson and cousin to Trevor Lawrence, one of our counselors, and also Vernon Fortain, a family friend. And so we are also gathering at a time when we have witnessed over the last few days and Sunday over the weekend the wanton destruction that is happening, especially in KwaZulu-Natal, but also in Gauteng, and threats of that has already emerged in our own province. And we are aware of the loss of income, livelihoods that have now been destroyed, and also lives that have been lost. And so as death has come very intimately and close into our lives because of the passing of Avril, we also remember those who in the course of this week who have also died as Avril has from COVID and whose family grieved their passing tremendously. We also express our condolences to the families whose names or the ones who have the families of the ones who have passed away in the context of the looting and the violence that has been happening as I have mentioned earlier. And so remember those who have died, the policemen and women that have been affected, and ones whose names are known to their community and to their families. We light this candle of hope for peace in our country, for the deepening of our heart to the plight of the desperate. We pray also in lighting this candle for President Cyril Ramaphosa that he would be convicted by honest and wise counsel and that he will have the compassion of the Holy Spirit as a son of the soil, a man of the people and of, as a shepherd of our country at this time to move forward out of a strong conviction of love and an awareness, Lord, that is in your hands. So we pray the collect for purity, almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all his eye is known, and from whom no secrets <coughs> are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. And Father, we come before you out of our burdened spirits, mindful that your yoke is easy and your burden is light as we embrace the call of discipleship. And in this time of penitence, we are aware of how we have fallen short in so many ways, but we come seeking your forgiveness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, 
and in what you have left undone for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who, who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon your sins and set you free from them, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray. Loving Father, look with favor on the prayers of your people who are justly punished for their sins and in your goodness mercifully deliver them from all evil for the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Our reading is from the book of Exodus, chapter 3. Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led his flock beyond the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked, and the bush was blazing yet it was not consumed. And then Moses said, I must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burnt up. And when the Lord saw that Moses had turned aside to see, God called him out of the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Then God said, come no closer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. God said further, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. And then the Lord said, the cry of the Israelites have now come to me. I have also seen how the Egyptians oppressed them. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I am with you. And this shall be the sign for you that it is I who sent you when you have brought the people out of Egypt. You shall worship God on this mountain. This is the word of the Lord. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 103 after which Father Marcus would read the Gospel fast, Psalm 103. And that psalm, Read the first seven verses, and it's found on page 731 in the prayer book. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within him, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sin and heals all your infirmities who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your being with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's, 
The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen to the good news proclaimed in Matthew chapter 11, reading from verse 25 to verse 27. Matthew chapter 11, reading from verse 25 to verse 27. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, Because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants, yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Today we also pray for Iris Bolton, in this time of anxiety for the well-being of her family, her daughter Tracy and her husband Naim, and for their children Daniel and Ashan. They have all been tested positive for COVID-19 and we pray for God's healing and for Iris here, where she is in this moment of distance and the inability to be present. And we also pray for Courtney Sampson, for Trevor, Lawrence and Vernon Fortain, and all the loved ones of Avril who today grieve her passing. We pray for all the places in God's world that is very difficult to be getting up in the morning, to live in a dignified way, where the uncertainty of a piece of bread or some sustenance for the day is often but a desperate fantasy. And yet, Lord, we also thank you for your angels of mercy who do reach out to the destitute, who bring some relief into their lives. We pray especially this day for those who are community workers, laboring with very little resources, as we pray also for social workers in the diverse ways that they are compelled to be present in the lives of people. Lord, there's much to pray for, needs to name, and yet we come to you in this moment of the burning bush of our land. And we pray that we will somehow still be able to hear the voice of God calling us to come closer 
and yet still to be aware that we are on holy ground of the lives of others, on the holy ground of broken promises and disillusionment, on the holy ground of lament and suffering. But God, we thank you that in this all you are there as you were with Jesus suffering on the cross, comforting Mary in the presence of John the Beloved. And so we gather in this Eucharistic time mindful that you do not take away the pain but you help us bear it and especially for those who have no hope, Lord. In your Psalms you have always asked us to be mindful of the poor that they will never lose hope and the poor the land have lost hope for a long time and many of them have found their way to beyond the barricades of poverty, beyond the gridlock moments of their silence which they are broken now. And we pray, Father, that you would lead us and them and all of South Africa onto the higher ground of seeing each other according to our respective needs. And may we see you in the presence of those whom we have difficulty of accepting and embracing. And so we commit this moment of recall as did the disciples traveling from Jerusalem on the seven mile road to Emmaus and may we see you and hear you, Lord, in all this brokenness and in our compromise and suffering humanity. May we know your presence, resurrected, enabling, and strengthening. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our brother, and our Lord and Savior. Amen. And so, beloved, as you gather wherever you are at the receiving end of the live stream and to Father Marcus and to Andilea, I say, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Today we use the Second Eucharistic Prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this prayer to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. For us it becomes the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. For us it becomes the cup of salvation. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. So today we give you thanks because in love you created us, in justice you condemned us, but in mercy you redeemed us. And therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we acclaim you, your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Yam ke la umbo imi bongo yetu. Bawo o sezulvini. Goni ana wako msindi sowetu u Yesu Kristu. Masiti silandela mzekelo wake. Sitobele nemi ya lelo yake. Wenze akubanga mala omo ya wako o ingwele. Ezi zipo zesonke ne waini. Zibe gunzi ima wake. Nega zilake kuti. Ote kongoba. Husuka avani kelu angabo wa tabata isonka. Wabulele kowe wa siklakeza. Wasi nikela kubafundi baki ya siti. Tabata ni nitle. Logo nzimba wamu nikelelu wa nina. Oku kwenzele ni. Oku dikumbula. Watinko go kunjalo yamba kwe sidlo sango kutlo atabata intebe. Wabulela kuwe wabanika yora esiti. Sela niki ya nonke. Liga zilam lomkopi so omcha. Alipola lela nina nabani nzi. Ukuze nikolelwe izono. Kama kaya so onke enisi kubanese la kuyo. Oku kwe nzeleni, uku dikumbula. And so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. So darom yemon sa fader, on o on se offer fan omself, yens en fa alter an i kreis volbrang, en verkondig sy machtige opstanding en glorierijke jimmelsvaart, terwijl ons na sy wederkomst en heerlijkheid uitsien, vier ons met hierdie brood en hierdie bieker sy een volmaakter offer. Vader, neem aan ons offer van dank en loof dier hom ons groot hoge priester, vernieuw ons dier die geest, Inspireer ons met die liefde en verenig amal in die lichaam van die Seen, Jesus Christus, onse Heere. Terwijl ons hierdie heilige gaves eet en drink in teenwoordigheid van die goddelike majesteit. Deer hom en met hom en in hom saam met amal in die jimmel en op die aarde wat voor u staan, en bid ons, die almachtige Vader, die die kracht van die Heilige Geest, met liedere van eeuwig geloof, seer en eer en heerlijkheid, een mag, sê aan u, in alle eeuwigheid. Amen.
And so, beloved, as Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And so the bread which we break is not a sharing of the body of Christ. We who are many are one body for we all partake of the one bread. And so, beloved, draw near and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you in his blood, which he shed for you. Feel on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Behold who we are. May we become what we receive. And so for those that were not present here in the flesh, I invite you to join us in this act of spiritual communion as we say the Anima Christi on page 517. Page 516. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, refresh me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of the earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and praise. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for God is gracious. God's mercy endures forever. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to love and work, to your praise and glory. God, bless our world. God, bless Africa. 
guard our children, guide our leaders, and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Beloved, before the final dismissal, as we say, um, as of Monday, Father Marcus and I have been gathering for morning prayer. Uh, and that is our intention throughout the week. So we are resuming the age-old custom of our cathedral of a daily Eucharist each day. As yet, it is still very much contained to ourselves. So it's morning prayer at about 20 to 7 in the morning, and then quarter past 7 we have our Eucharist. And then every Wednesday, we will have the same in the morning, but also the 10 o'clock Eucharist as now. And then throughout the week, Monday to Friday, the Angelus will be live streamed. And so uh, please spread the word. We came to this decision in the wake of what has happened uh, over the weekend and has been intensified uh, throughout the week in this very short week, and there has been a national call for an interfaith commitment to a call to prayer and a one-minute um, silence. And so in our tradition, we will again resume the ringing of the Angelus uh, in a live stream format, and we will ring the Angelus from Monday to Thursday and then um, also on the Friday afternoon but we are also aware that it is the Jumu'ah period for our Muslim brothers and sisters and so we need to seek ways that we can also reach out to each other in our interfaith custom and tradition. So the church not only the cathedral but nationwide of multiple denominations and other religious uh, embodiments of faith I will observe the at noonday a one minute silence and so we ask that wherever you for are uh, just to hold that moment for peace because so much is wrought in that little act of setting aside time for God and to focus on the great needs that has besieged us so suddenly. Beloved, the Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.